Hi, I'm Anna. And I'm Ben. And we are Autosave. Welcome to our channel. Today we're watching Attack on Titan, Season 2, Episode 2. 2-2. Two, two. Um, so, last thing we did was uh, watch Ilse's Notebook, mm -hmm. which was amazing. Amazing. Uh, and there was definitely a correlation. There was a similarity between Ilse's Notebook and the first episode of Season 2, and that was Titans Talking. Yeah. We don't really know why, but we've speculated some things. Lots of speculations. Um, At this point, that's all we can do, really. Yeah, uh, but last episode, Mike died in the most gruesome death I think we've seen so far. It was so horrifying. Far. It was honestly horrifying. I think they've been getting more gruesome uh, with the No Regrets OVA and then with episode one of season two. It, it feels a little more graphic. Um, and uh, that was very painful. Uh, it definitely yeah. succeeded in affecting my emotional level uh, for the show. Uh, not a huge fan of graphics um, or anything really gross and bloody. Uh, but it worked in terms of um, how I felt internally. Yeah. <laughs> it did its job, I guess. Um. We noted at the end of Ilse's notebook in the discussion that we caught in episode one of season two the Harry Titan's eye color changing from yeah. uh, white and yellow to black, black and yellow, yellow, seemingly when he was talking to the other Titans and commanding them, but we don't really know. Um, it could have just totally been... Animation. Yeah, it could be actually nothing. Yeah. But it is interesting um, idea. That, I mean, you found it through editing. Mm -hmm. And it is interesting if it is real because the eyes with the whites obviously look more human. Yeah. Um, and those were the times that he was, uh, the Beast Titan was speaking to Mike. So. Yeah. Um, it could be a connection. Also, I uh, forgot to bring this up uh, last episode. But I had it written down in my notes. So this is on uh, episode one. And it makes sense why it does this. I just think it's like huge props to the show for it. Um, this The resemblance between Aaron and his mom is so well done. Like they like actually look like... Like the detail that this show and the art style brings to the table. Like it just... I don't know. Like it, like you can definitely tell they're related. Even just though the from... eye color and hair color is different. Yeah, yeah, it's just like the the facial similarity, the eyebrows, you know, uh, the eye shape. Like it's really well done. So kudos to Attack on Titan for that. Um, other than that, though, I I don't really know what to expect going into this episode. Um, probably uh, Connie and Sh uh, Sasha, like everybody. Oh, I completely Reiner forgot. Going to Connie's town. I was so focused on what was happening with Mike, and all I was thinking about was um, Irwin finding out about what happened to him. Yeah. That I completely forgot about where we are with all of the other characters. Yeah. And, and that they're all going to to alert towns nearby and villages nearby about what's happening and. Connie's village is the direction that the Beast Titan came from. So that is going to be. I mean, Connie as a character has been sh not shy in personality, but definitely afraid of putting himself out there in terms of the fight and putting his life on the line. Uh, he's definitely. We saw his dis. When he was trying to make the decision to even join the scouts, mm -hmm. it was definitely a hard decision. I'm actually surprised he made it, and I'm I'm wondering what pushed him over the edge. Maybe it was like not peer pressure, but maybe it was that so many of his friends were deciding to put their lives on the line. Yeah, and maybe that's why he also chose to take that step, or maybe he really hopes to be that strong, brave person. And I think that this episode and or the coming episodes are kind of gonna be like the connie make or break episodes like he's either going to be what he wants to be or he's going to break 
Yeah, I mean, what, his original plan was to join military police. Nobody believed in him in his hometown. He made it into the top ten, which is nuts. Uh, he's my man. I hope that he is able to find people alive. Yeah, and think of, like, um, Sasha ha- like could help so much right now with yeah. her oh, knowing of not only the landscape, but of animals and tracking and probably hunting so she probably could sense things in a way that Mike could because yeah. Mike could smell things from like miles and miles away it's a good comparison so they could definitely she could use her childhood and her talents to help this mission uh and i'm really excited for both of those two characters to possibly have some really star time, some time in the spotlight. Yeah, some main character. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I have you. Mm-hmm. Sweet. That's why they had them in plain clothes, right? Yeah. And they don't have gear, right? No. Ugh. I just. How do they move like that? I don't know, dude. Will we get to see where he's bringing it? I'm home. Is that for Connie? Has to be, right? Yeah. <gasps> Yay! <gasps> Are they gonna send Aaron? Armin! Good question. But you would see if they were man-made and old. Yeah. We learned that from the mid-roll, right? Mm-hmm. Microscope? DNA, maybe? She's the studying material? the material. What is it? No, the Wallace. Why is he there? Why is he there? I don't like him. <laughs> I don't know if that's how he feels. He picked them out for a squad. They're a squad right now. Yeah. Like a separate mission that they're going on. Titans are probably slower at night, so that's good. Yeah. Begs the question, are there two sides? Like, are there good titans? What a shot. It's like you imagine that each one of those rectang- rectangles is like a titan standing up. Yeah. ま、この巨人がいること、この人は知っていたんですか。ああ。いやいやいやいや、それはおかしいでしょう。何か知ってることがあったら話してくださいよ。重要なことなんてないでしょう。ええ。おとなしくして。まだ巨人化の後遺症
多くの人の腹を満たすことができるんてなこの狩りをやめ森を明け渡すべきなんだ For the sake of humanity そんなことせんといかんのそりゃあな我々は世界に生かしてもらって Wow, yeah He's willing to 群れで生きる動物なんじゃ限られた環境の中じゃ同じ群れに入ってご先祖様に生き方教えてもらって生きてきたんやからそのに受けた女なんかないよ一生この森の中で自分や同族のみの価値観で生きていくんのその恩恵を受けることができるのは当然やからな一族と共に生きたいと思ってる世界がつながってることも受け入れなければならんお前には少し臆病なところがあるお前にとってそんなに難しいことなんか What made her join the cadets? I know. <sighs> <sighs> Dang, she really wanted a new village. <gasps> cool. Oh, no. Oh, it's a small one. What? That looked really small. Yeah, like a. <gasps> like just bigger than a human. This music. It was small enough for her to be able to find a weapon against it. I That's don't think good. we've seen one that small before, no. right? No. What's wrong? Is it like trauma? How is it so small? It it looks just like a human. Oh. Was she putting on a sh like a front? Yeah, like changing her speech pattern, you know. Mm -hmm. Kind of like Oluo, right? Mm -hmm. Ymir? <gasps> she looks like Yosa. The freckles and the short brown Yes! <laughs> Did they never actually tell us her name? And we no. just... No. It's hard to pay attention to what's happening after that. <laughs> God, it's so creepy. So Sasha's afraid of people. Or was. Yeah. <laughs> It's a shot we saw. Oh my god. <sighs> That's not gonna do it. That's true. I hope she has good aim. 
It's Sasha. Of course she has good aim. Oh. Hell yeah. Oh. Get it? That's one. It's getting so close. Come on, believe in yourself. Yes! Oh! God, Sasha's a badass, dude. This is I, what I wanted. I really hope the girl's okay, dude. <gasps> Her family. They were probably going around helping people. I'm really hoping this isn't like a, we just got a nice story, and now we're gonna get a bad one. Mm -hmm. Oh god. Yeah, Titans have definitely been there. <laughs> oh. Why is it just laying there? What happened to it? Do you see the ribs? Yeah. Like it was. What? It's almost. Rem remember when Aaron tried to trans like change into the Titan, and he couldn't fully do it, or at least he did it enough to be able to protect them, and it was just a rib cage. Yeah. And then we just saw a Titan that was really small. Mm -hmm. And now we're seeing one who somehow ended up inside this house, but couldn't... How could it walk there if it can't move now with those legs? Yeah. I don't know. What? It's all a conspiracy. <laughs> Does it have any significance that it's Connie's house? His mom was blonde. Yeah. Not that that means anything, but this Titan has, like, short blonde hair. Not that... I don't know if that means anything. Well, it's like, look at if there is any similarity, right? Yeah, to the... They showed kind of the mom's eyes. Okay. Uh, um. Oh. A little bit, right? Yeah, definitely. Um, I don't know what that means, like, w like, like, is that Connie's, like, is Connie's expression there, like, that's my house, and it kind of looks like my mom, but that couldn't be the case? Like, could, like, how, what would turn... Is there a way to turn people into titans by, like, a, a titan eating them kind of thing? Like, is... Well. Well. Aaron first changed into a titan when he was ingested by a titan, or was, like, injured by. Yeah. Do you think that, like, his dad was just going around injecting a bunch of people without them knowing? Like, it was some routine vaccination or something? 
he took what that's why i'm wondering is this a huge conspiracy that his dad like went around and has been creating titans or something well okay we know that aaron's dad stopped an epidemic right Mm -hmm. Uh, if you stop something you have to heal people right you have to like give them some type of medicine that could be the perfect uh vessel for and if uh titans can heal themselves yeah what if he was injecting themselves with some some he found a way even though titans basically steam up and disappear and are just bone what if he found a way to quickly harvest some bit of titan cells and like and he used that as a way to create healthier bodies by injecting it into patients during yeah. an epidemic. It would make sense if he sees that titans have this uh, regenerative um, factor, like a healing factor. Ability. Um, okay, if that's the case, and what here? Uh, would we say that Connie's mom had gotten injected with it? It obviously isn't the same... Uh, to the same... What re- it's not perfected to the extent that Aaron's would have been. Well, yeah, because the it, epidemic was like when Aaron was probably very, very young. Yeah, because it was even talked about in super past tense when we first met Aaron. Yeah, so it could have been that he perfected the the shot. Um, so that's weird. <laughs> uh. That's weird. It's also weird that, bro, right when this episode opened up, I'm thinking, like, and then we saw a little bit of last episode. Right when, like, we were watching, I was like, huh, that girl looks a little familiar. I wonder why. I've never thought she looked familiar. And then name drop Ymir. Like, I I was like, is there, like, why do I feel like she looks so familiar? She does look just like... Um, Ilse, right? I think Ilse. that it's safe now. I, I've been trying to watch this show without looking back. Yeah. Because I, I want to be, I want to know whatever I remember and like just kind of be totally immersed in it. Yeah. Um, and then it could be almost like a, even if I didn't realize something at first, um, I would definitely realize it later. But now I'm curious if we've ever heard her name. And the only instance we ever would is her first interaction with Krista and Sasha when Sasha was being punished. But I think she was new to meeting Krista as well, so I don't know if she said her name then. But that is just not a coincidence that she looks like Ilse and his name is Ymir. I am going to feel big dumb if we have heard her name before. Right? Right. But we did say it sounded familiar, so... Okay, Was this the first walking. introduction yes, of her? this is the first... Um... Oh, no, when all the cadets say their names, she might have. I don't think she introduced herself, and we didn't no. see it here so far, right? Yeah, no, she... She just carries Sasha to bed. I'm doing her a favor, so she'll owe me. Yeah, no, I don't think we were ever told her name. Um, right. And was she, uh, but was she in, uh... I don't think she was in the rank of the top ten. You don't think so? Mm-mm. It wouldn't hurt to look, right? God, Annie. Um, it seems like it would make a lot of lot more sense if they never said the name, and then it was obviously a huge drop in episode two of season two. It's crazy because Krista was there. Krista was number ten. I think yep. they've purposefully I been agree. keeping Ymir from us. I I agree. Um, I just am dumbfounded. Um, what, what does that mean? Okay, well. What you, my first thought was, but can't be true, is they were watching uh, the cadets, the 104th cadet 
class mm -hmm. uh, to make sure none of them were like Annie. Mm -hmm. um, but Ymir has some type of relationship with a small titan in the woods that is now dead. Or perhaps many titans. Or perhaps... Um, we don't know why Ymir joined. We don't know why Ymir joined. We, I'm going to assume that she's from higher class than Sasha is because of the way that she talks and the language that she uses. Um, I, so we know that, I'm trying to think, have we ever seen Ymir come face to face with a Titan? <sighs> Would any Titan have that reaction to her that they did, you'll say? I honestly can't even remember if we saw Ymir in action through any of the battles that we mm -hmm. saw. We we didn't see Krista either until Krista met with Jean and Armin, you know? So we didn't know and where Reiner. we didn't know where Ymir was at all. Yeah. Especially when we were on the expedition outside of the walls. What did they say that she was doing? Did they say her name at that instance? What? Did uh did Krista say where Ymir was? Mm -hmm. No? She was purely just talking about the horses and how one of the horses ran to her. Crazy. Just crazy. How I... was I supposed to focus on the rest of that conversation with that name drop? <laughs> it was a great conversation. It um... was great because Krista's a sweetheart. And now we know that Sasha is antisocial. Yeah. Where I got the vibe that she was just kind of like an... When we first met her, I was like, oh, she's a I do what I want kind of like... um. She thinks on instinct, which I guess makes sense now that she was raised in the woods um, around hunt hunting and animals, that she she eats when she's hungry. <laughs> yeah. And she does what she wants and she's driven by her her desires. Um, but I didn't peg her as not friendly or antisocial or afraid of humans. Yeah. It kind of... It Makes sense um, in hindsight. I love this episode for Sasha. Like, this was such a great episode for her. And I guess next episode is possibly for Connie. Yeah. I, I loved her, like, moment fighting that Titan. Um, do, real quick, last time I want to touch on Ymir for this discussion. Is she, is it, is she sus? Like, is yes. there, a, is there a reason to be sus about her because of the lineage? Is Ymir a first name? Ymir might be a family name. That's, yeah. Just because, but just because we know that Krista calls Ymir Ymir, obviously supposed to get us to be like, oh my god, we heard Lady Ymir last episode, mm -hmm. or uh, in the OVA, but I don't know. It could just be, there could be no bloodline there even though that i feel like there is and the looks are so similar They're too so similar. why um okay so this episode for sasha though man i loved this episode for her she had some really good moments her dad is a badass this titan that was like very very human size and so and obviously -like. tiny bites and long suffering and torture for the mother of this girl because yeah. it has such a small mouth. It'd be like almost being eaten by a cannibal. Mm -hmm. It's horrible. Horrifying. It's like so human, you know? And what else is human about this whole situation is that her village left them. They knew that the mother's legs were bad, but there was a group led by Sasha's father going around trying to help people it's like it shows the two the two they like humanity the two yeah. sides the side that would go to help even in fear and the side that would drop the burdens drop the heavy weight and keep running mm -hmm. man what do you think uh so back to the beginning of the episode, uh, Hanji was looking at, I'm going to assume, a piece I, of... I think it was a part of Annie's... Uh, 
Was it the part of the Titan that's in the walls, or is it a part of the walls, or is it a part of Annie? I don't know, <laughs> but we see something on the yeah. table here. She she notices something here, right? Like, before she gets interrupted, what do you think she noticed? Like, that it's the same material, that, that like, something that we don't know? It can't be something that's a big enough, um light bulb deal that she would have to go alert everyone about this discovery yeah but it might it might have her thinking it might uh prove a hypothesis that she had yeah or something uh but it's obviously not something that is like oh my gosh i know everything about them now so that's good or bad it's bad that she doesn't know everything about them now Uh, oh and armin brings up there's no cracks Armin had, like, a really good line in the sense of, like, uh, would they, would Titans break walls that they know have Titans in them, right? Mm-hmm. Um, would Titans break walls with Titans in them? Didn't we ask ourselves that? Or, yeah. Like, um, after the first episode? And I, w- and then I think we talked about how the colossal or armored would know where the titans were, possibly within the walls, so they yeah. would know. And we even brought up that it was always gates. Mm-hmm. Dang, we're like Armin, we're two Armin <laughs> sitting at a table watching Armin. Uh, <laughs> the thing about the walls, there's no crevices between the rocks or any signs of cracking. True. And it's nice because they're showing stonework i'm assuming that there aren't any cracks or anything because the all the titans inside of them are probably all linking arms and them linking arms would be like would kind of spread the continuation of the hardening right and they can all i know that um it was this offhanded thing to say that they're fusing yeah uh but I guess their their crystallization can fuse together. It also can be very versatile, like Armin said. Like, obviously the color of it is different, right? Yeah. We can see Annie through her, like, crystallization or her uh, hardening material, but we can't see through the walls. Is that a strength thing? I don't know. Hmm. Um, And then we had a... Uh, good i think i think it was a hanji line um that that pastor nick what if the reason he's talking is because he knows something more important than the fate of humanity humanity. what is more important than the fate of humanity it's because he knows something more important than the fate of what uh, yeah what is more important than the fate of humanity um, the world surviving, maybe, if you're going to be, the like... The planet? V- yeah. Like, uh, if the planet is going to die, then, then you-, you have to think about all the other creatures living on the planet. You want them to all be able to live and thrive and survive. Yeah, so you, you'd say that, well, herman- humanity should end so everything else can continue living? Mm-hmm. Is it like a humans were destroying the planet and killing too many animals they couldn't repopulate and food was dwindling and so humans are bad thing or you got the evolution imagery the other episode or the OBA that's such a is humanity supposed to evolve another step for the sake of the world what do you think what would he know like uh, like other than it would have to be in regards to the walls, right? See, the phrasing is that he knows something more important than the fate of humanity, but it doesn't say he knows something that he thinks is more important than the fate of humanity. Yeah. It's worded in a way that whatever it is isn't um, subjective. Yes. And that is the most interesting part. That. Everyone could collectively be like, yeah, that's more important. Or, is or at she least being, morally more important. Is she being like a like passive aggressive kind of? She could be. Like, if it's not more important than the fate of yeah. humanity, then there's no reason for you to not talk. Yeah. Ugh. I liked um, some of Sasha's interactions with her dad. So good. 
um, he his um, viewpoint was really great that he was like at first he was like think of how many people could get fed if the forest was knocked down and grain was planted yeah and then he brought up the whole like you can't ask for their help if you aren't willing to help them yeah if you're not there for them don't expect them to be there for you Mm -hmm. um i love this line i'm willing to give up our traditions if it means i can live with my family he prioritizes the people he loves over anything ego or i don't know i i think that's really cool that's a good it's a good character Mm -hmm. um and do you know what even makes it better after saying he's a good character hmm. the line he said as soon as he saw sasha again you're all i hoped for yeah that was so good um i had like a weird little question uh do just a little one just a little one just like um, that if, little titan if i can find it um we got to see like a scene of a bird on a tree next to a skewered frog did you catch that i saw the bird but i don't remember a frog when would it be well just trust i'm trust I'm, um, I'm trusting is that like because like some birds like can skewer their food to kill them and then pick at them is that maybe an analogy it was, uh, imagery for like the bow and arrow yeah maybe some kids were shooting frogs with bows and arrows before the titans showed up um damn it what makes it so much worse is that like this titan's just eating the person to do it like it's not like eating you know it looks like it looks so much like a human this one yeah that for a second i thought what we were experiencing and it looked slightly regular size for a split second i know it's obviously a little bit bigger but for a split second i was like wait are we introducing cannibals into the show like they already is this village touched on them is this village ca they did touch on cannibals i mm -hmm. forgot about that Ooh, i forgot about that this is so weird. Oh, did you man. see the eyes? Who's? You literally just did it. Connie's eyes back and forth with this Titan's eyes. It was a close up of eyes and then close up of eyes. Do you see it? Like the similarity. I just smacked the mic. I'm so sorry. They're the same color. Yeah. That's true. And the only reason I'm on this train that I'm on is because of the ribs not being inside. Well, I think that's fair. Like, I, I, I can agree with you on that. Um, I don't think I would have had the guess that I did if it was a fully formed uh, Exactly. Type. And it's saying, like, how did it get there? Yeah. So, like, then it would, obviously, you'd assume if they don't know how it got there and we wouldn't know how it got there, you'd assume that it came from there, right? Yeah. Um, it didn't, I wouldn't think it fell from the sky. I think it's more, uh, believable that whatever, something happened there to make this appear. Um, like I don't. And, and then it fell backwards cause it couldn't walk. So it would have formed outside of the other backwards. side of the house yeah. and then fallen backwards. Um, that is assuming that. Yeah, uh, le that it wasn't, like, bigger, and then it got, like, stuff taken from it. Like, uh, you know. It's not dead, is it? No. Which it is weird. It just can't move. Um, I don't think it's crazy to think or predict, you know, that this is either Connie's mom or, like, somebody who was a human first. What I'm having trouble with is understanding the how to it, you know? At, at the moment, the only theory that feels good is that... Epidemic one? The, that Aaron's dad is just psycho, possibly, and has been injecting people non-consensually with some Titan DNA material. Mm-hmm. 
that's the only place I can go right now that could even answer the question of why. And why some of them can talk. I mm -hmm. don't know. It just. Aaron's uh, still down, dude. Like, he's still hurt. Kind of crazy. It's not fully healed. Pastor Nick. I like that they're taking him purposefully to kind of show him the lives that are are basically lost because he didn't tell anyone about this. So we have like on Pastor Nick, obviously the Wallace knows some shit, right? Wallace uh, like, know some shit. Their whole religion, their uh, linking arms. They on his like chest, you have three pictured women who I'm ass uh, assuming are Maria, Maria, Rose, and Cena. Mm -hmm. Why? Who are they? Why are the walls named after them? Yeah, are, if how the, the wa walls even get their names? If the walls are like are protected and worshipped by the Wallace, and they knew Titans were them. Are they? Are the? Are Maria, Rose, and Cena? titans inside them are they like uh like leaders uh like um lady yamir was like were they like lady maria rose and cena and like they were in charge at one point or like i don't know it's obviously like <laughs> Well, it's hard not to think that there's something that the Wallace would know regarding the three. They would definitely know the origin of why those names. Yeah. Without a doubt. If they know that there are Titans within the walls, they know why the walls are named what they're named. Yep. Were the... Here's a question. When people were fleeing and they were looking for a place... You know how we've always said, how did they have time to set up these walls and build this community without Titans getting to them first? Yeah. What if the walls were already there? And mm. as the people were fleeing, they found this enclosure. They stumbled upon it. Interesting. This is such a crazy line. This whole time, Titans have been protecting us from Titans. That's crazy, and I also never realized that the the look of the material of the gate rectangle is a completely different color and texture from the rest of the wall. Yeah. So what if they? That's all what they it, built. What it previous what it looked like before was just a bunch of like walls with one rectangle cut out. Yes, correct. Um, does that mean that like? When were the gates built? I don't think we've been told that. Were they built at the same time? No, they must have been built. I mean... They could have been, but... They could have been, but it also could have been an, an after edition of coming... It, of... it kind of looks like the same material here, but we obviously know that there wouldn't be And there are in holes it. cut in for the water to go through. Mm-hmm. So bizarre. I'm so confused. Well, and also, why would Titans be helping protect you from Titans? Well, why, <sighs> it's it, two different like sides, right? Maybe. Or at least we obviously know the show shows us that it's not just black and white. I mean, like, humanity has two different sides. Titans might too. Yep. I think uh, everything can be summed up with uh, one line that was in this episode, and I forget who said it. Hmm. The cause is still in the dark. Who said that? I don't know. I don't remember, but I wrote it down. The cause is in the dark. It's a good line. That <sighs> poor little girl. Not only was she traumatized, but her whole faith in, like, people protecting her or caring for her in this village that she grew up in. Yeah. Is eliminated honestly that might have been what traumatized her more than the titan showing up man i uh armin's so quick with it you know i'm glad that we got to see pixis a little more and hans and hans i it's cool and just like okay we get like a 
half a second scene with Hans, who we know. Yeah. And, like, we just get to see it. Like, and be like, oh, I know him, you know? Yeah, it's, it's nice to see the background characters doing their jobs in the background. Yeah. Oh, my God. Mo- like, so right in the beginning of the episode during the recap, when we saw, like, Ymir on horseback, I was like, huh, she kind of looks familiar, right? Like, and then... <laughs> She literally looks like Ilse. Unbelievable. We haven't seen Ymir write in a notebook. Do you, did we we knew Ilse's last name and it wasn't Ymir? It was Lagner. Yeah. Uh, all right, that's all I have you. Yeah. Hanji would have connected the name possibly. Right? If she's okay, think about it this way. If this Ymir is from the same location, her village was nearby wherever that expedition was, and she, a Ymir joins the cadets and they find out that the, her home was by there, mm-hmm. wouldn't she be questioned? Or my, if, whether it's a family name or not? Hanji would have heard the name and been like, Where are you from? or something. Yeah. What what did uh Hanji say like uh that what was written down? Like remember she was like reading what was in the Subjects Lady Ymir Where did she Welcome Where was that? Where was what? Like that Hanji's reading it. Um I don't know if it, we got Hanji reading it or Ilse writing it and saying it out loud, what she was writing. Um, I just wanted to make sure. I, I'm sure she did. I just wanted to make sure that uh, she wrote wrote it down, right? I remember Hanji saying in her letter to Irwin that Ilse said that it uttered words that have meaning. Subjects. Okay, it's in quotes. Good. Subjects of Ymir, Lady Ymir, welcome. Cool. So obviously that means Hanji at least would know the, the Ymir. Like, we haven't seen Hanji and Ymir uh, interact. I don't think we've seen Ymir interact with a Titan. I don't think so either. Hmm. Hmm. So many questions. So little answers. Yeah. We're left in the dark. That's how we're going to be for a while, I assume. We get something else every episode. Yeah. Get a little more and a lot more questions. I I want next episode really bad because I am both worried and excited for Connie. What if the Titans, like... Connie. Connie. <laughs> right. Like <laughs> that'd be horrible. Oh my god. I don't know how he could take that. Mm. I'm worried about him. I'm Me worried too. about that boy. Alright, you good? Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and we hope to see you next time.